Number eight, the probability of an eight or a king or a black card. All right, the probability of an eight, there's four eights for 50 seconds. The probability of a king, also for 50 seconds, four kings, one in each suit. The probability of a black card, half the deck, or 26, 50 seconds. Here's where it gets a bit confusing. If I actually made a Venn diagram for these now three categories of cards, eights, kings, and black cards, we have to realize that there are four intersections. Oh no, four intersections. Yeah. And I probably shouldn't have included a, a problem like this at all, but that's okay. We're up for a challenge. So let me say this. The intersection, I'm going to do this right. Watch carefully. This intersection, the cards that are eights and kings would need to be subtracted away. And if you're saying to yourself, you can't be an eight and a king. Yeah, I know. I know. We know we're going to add these, right? If there existed an eight that was also a king, we would subtract, subtract Mr. Colby. We would subtract the probability of eight and king. Uh, but there isn't, so we don't have to worry about that one. Um, let me erase that and highlight another intersection. If there's a if there's a, a probability of being an eight and a black card, we would subtract the the and of course there is. We would subtract the probability of eight and black. So I do need to subtract that probability because two of the eights are also black cards. Now let me erase this intersection and focus on the only other intersection we haven't yet considered, which is the, the probability of being a king and a black card. Well, of course that, uh, intersection does exist because these two kings are black cards. So we're going to subtract the probability of king and black. We're going to subtract those two 50 seconds. Now here's the thing that makes this really complicated that you have to really be careful. I showed you three intersections. Sometimes we say there are four intersecting regions, like one, two, three, four. In this kind of a problem, you really shouldn't think of it that way. Because if there was, and there is not, but if there was a possibility of it being all three things, that think about that overlap. That overlap occurs three times. And so you wouldn't want to just subtract it out once. You'd want to subtract it out twice which we've done if we consider each of these type of intersections one at a time. I know that could be, um, I know this is tough, but and there, there's something we're going to do at the very end to confirm this answer. Um, first, let's calculate 34 minus 4 is 30, 50 seconds. Now let me do it the hard way to make sure I really do have 30 favorable outcomes by uh, counting the eights, the kings, and the black cards. We'll just start with the black cards. That's definitely 26. Now I'm looking for any eights or kings that I haven't already counted. Four more. So 30, 50 seconds is correct. And I know that simplifies to 15, 26. Dare I stare at my notes? Oh, well, that was the first one I got right. <laughs> Okay, 1526. Um, so yeah, that, that, that takes it to a whole other level when you have um, more than one intersecting area. That was pretty tough.